Hello and welcome to Cinema 107, Understanding Motion Pictures. My name is Edward Geica, and I'll be your instructor for this late start that is eight weeks, fully online course through Canvas. The class runs from October 26th through December 18th and will necessitate six and one half hours per week of online work. It's very important that you familiarize yourself with all aspects of the posted syllabus to see course requirements, expectations, policies, student resources, availability of assignments, and due dates. So what's this class all about and why on earth am I taking this class in film? For many of you, it may be because it fits your schedule or because it sounds better than calculus or because it may be a requirement. But for some, I hope, it's because you love movies and sense the significance and importance of this art form. Well, here are a few other reasons. Like other art forms, film teaches us valuable lessons about the world and about ourselves, about our place in society and our impact on it. Films can open doors to new worlds, past, present, future, real or imagined, to new cultures and to new ideas. Likewise, cinema is a driving force in the cultural and political conversation of our contemporary age. Sometimes, without even realizing it, we are all influenced by the representations and images of film, television, and media. And in an age where media has such a powerful hold over us, it's important to acknowledge and understand the influence of the media and to take note how it can be used, be used as a tool for change, correction, social evolution, and even propaganda. Ironically, art and film become essential in awakening people to the realities of the world through a uniquely human lens, realities that are often misunderstood, misrepresented, or misinterpreted. While a film may simply tell a story to entertain, it can also educate and inform us. It can bridge differences and reflect universal emotions, experiences, feelings, and values that create and foster our cultural mythos. It may explore character and action, or it may challenge perceptions and understanding. It may entertain and amuse, or it may expand and spread culture and philosophical ideas. It may engage and instigate an emotional response, or it may invite empathy and understanding. Films may challenge, inspire, or disgust viewers, or they may warn of future dangers. So those were just a few reasons why one should study film, and while the sociological as aspect is important, the specific focus and purpose of Cinema 107 is to gain a deeper appreciation for the art of film by analyzing the separate elements of film, in other words, direction, acting, story, editing, cinematography, etc., and coming to understand how these work together to create film art that produce both entertainment and the social, political, cultural impact noted above. We will be watching movies wherein these separate elements combined have innovated or advanced the art form, and analyzing how these parts work in creating the whole meaning, experience, and significance of a particular film, and of cinema as a whole. I've selected various exemplary films from the U.S. and around the world, and from various eras, and we will be analyzing, evaluating, and critiquing these films from an aesthetic, technological, and theoretical perspective, as well as from both a contemporary and historic perspective. The textbook we will be using is Understanding Movies by Louis Gianetti. You can get the 14th edition of this text as an e-textbook through Amazon or other vendors to save on costs. Throughout the course, there will be several discussion assignments that require you to post your views on a particular prompt and film under study, and then to respond to at least two other classmates. You must post first before you can reply, so those first two students to post will need to return to the discussion to respond to peers after they post. As a general rule, you should contribute early, then follow up later. The only way for a discussion to be useful is to post early in the week so that others can benefit from your ideas and expand on them. In the case of the late start classes, due to the condensed format, you'll need to be active just about every day. A critiques based on films viewed will be required. These follow a uh, provided template that asks you to discuss and rate how well the various film components work together to bring out a theme, that is, what the filmmaker is trying to suggest to the audience about the story they're showing. And um, also there will be quizzes assigned at the end of each module unless it contains the midterm or final exam. 
These are objective questions based on ideas and information delivered in lectures, discussions, overviews, and the textbook chapters. There will be a midterm and final exam. And these are essay exams that require you to just demonstrate what you have learned by applying a critical perspective to a particular film. All assessments, student feedback on assignments, discussions, and scores are entered individually in the score and comments box in Canvas. I hope you enjoy learning about the innovative craft and artistry of the films you'll be watching and can apply that same critical appreciation to your current stay at home and to your future movie going experience. I look forward to reading your insights on cinema. Please contact me through email with any questions, issues, or concerns. I'm here to help you throughout the course, so do not hesitate to reach out to me. Good luck. See you at the movies.